Aweber gives you the option of installing an HTML form or a JavaScript web form on your website. And a lot of people aren't really sure what the difference is. And so this video is going to show you what the di what the big differences are. I'm in I'm logged into Aweber right now. And if I go to create a web form by clicking on the list settings tab and then scrolling to the web forms link and I select uh, the web form link I'm given the option to create my HTML form so if I click on get HTML it's going to default to the JavaScript and most likely JavaScript is going to be the best option for you because JavaScript allows them to automatically update your web pages. So if you go in to make changes to your web form, it will automatically update those changes on your website so that you don't have to go to each and every page of your website and change your web form. So if you have a content site like I do, um, you don't want to have to go back and change every single web page every time you decide to test something different out on your opt-in forms and so the JavaScript is best if you have a lot of web pages but another reason it's best is because if you want to track and test your conversion rates JavaScript is what allows Aweber to track your signups and things like that so if you, if you want to have access to that information which it is very critical to test your conversion so that you can improve on it and improve on your signups uh, then you want to go with the JavaScript and originally I did not use JavaScript and I'm going to show you why later in this video tutorial but this is the JavaScript and it's going to default to that uh, but if you want the HTML it's it's very it's hard to see this because they make it so that it's not very noticeable but uh, if you move your mouse over to the right side of the interface here it says raw HTML version right here okay and if you click on that it's going to take you to the HTML version and the benefits of the HTML version is that you can easily edit the text uh, the title text as well as the button text so the click here button you can change that text to whatever you'd like and you can do that from within your HTML editor and so you can uh, customize it more easily however uh, the disadvantages are that you can't track your signups and every time you go to make changes in your web form you have to go back into each and every one of your web pages and make a change and that becomes very difficult if you're on a site like mine. So I have a content site and originally I was using HTML because I like to be able to see my form in my web pages and um, or I like to be able to see my form in my HTML editor so that I can know that I'm not deleting it by mistake and uh, you can't do that with JavaScript and so but but I have a lot of pages on this website and so every time I went to make a change to my opt-in form I had to go through each and every page and replace my opt-in form with the updated version and so that's that's the benefit of using a JavaScript is that you don't have to do that if you if you edit the text here on the button it's going to uh, update it on all of your pages so that you don't have to go back in and do all of that and so I'm going to show you how to work with the HTML code here. Um, I'm in the HTML version and I'm going to copy that code. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to insert the HTML version in my HTML editor. And you can see I can see the form in my editor and I can edit the text here uh, to say what I wanted to say. So I can just erase that first if I just want to have name or if I want to put first and last name or if I want to change this email to primary email I can do that from within my HTML editor if I want to change the button code I can double click on that I can, and it's going to bring up the form field properties and I can change that submit to whatever I wanted to and you can see the changes take effect in my button so that's the benefit of having an HTML editor now I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to show you how JavaScript works inside an HTML editor. So I'm here back in Aweber 
and I'm still in the raw HTML version. Switch back to the JavaScript snippet, and I'm going to highlight that and copy that to my clipboard. And I'm going to go back to HTML editor. I'm going to center it. I'm going to insert this into my HTML editor, and I'm going to click insert. And as you can see, the form does not show up. Okay? It's it's totally blank and that's what presents a problem with JavaScript is that you can't see what you're doing because you don't know where the form is and so when you're editing other things you can easily delete the opt-in form. So here is a remedy that I have for that. And that is to insert a table. Okay? And I'm going to edit this table here that I've just inserted and I'm going to uh, first of all, I'm going to center it to where I want it to go. I'm going to, um, you know, format the, the table. I'm going to get rid of the border. So I'm going to change the border to zero so that they can't see the border. And so it's basically going to be an invisible table. And I'm going to center it and click OK. And here you see a table, and it's invisible. And you see the red outline, but, in you know, that... that it's not going to show up on your site. That's just so that you know where the table is. And I'm going to place my cursor inside that table and I'm going to click insert HTML and I'm going to paste that JavaScript in there. And so of course you can't see the JavaScript but you at least know where the JavaScript is. You know where your web form is sitting at because you have that invisible table as a placeholder. So that's the remedy for that. So again I'm going to go over the benefits. The benefits of a JavaScript web form is that you, the the form automatically updates itself on your website and Aweber can track your statistics. The benefits of the HTML form is that you can see what you're doing in your HTML editor and you can easily edit the text on your form within your HTML editor. So those are the benefits. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please go to my website makemoneynotexcuses.com, get on my mailing list where you'll get lots of helpful tips like this all the time. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks again for visiting. I'm Michelle Green.